Let's see what we get going here in this big old party started. We're going to put some bench maids on the screen here. Happy Sunday. Let's get Ozzy out there, a little Osborne. Keep us company a little bit. A little DSKFS. A little do something kind for someone. Get this going. Let's see how it looks on camera. Thank you all for being here. Now, to get this party started, we have a special, special treat. And that is, we had an awesome, awesome donation in the chat before the live started. So, some horns going out to the Baird is Landed. <laughs> Thank you, Baird is Landed. A member of the crew dropping a little coffee money in the chat. You know how it goes here. We got some Dutch Bros iced tea on point. I love it. Now, we got people jumping around. It was great to see everyone the last couple days on some live streams. But we got Joe Kasprick here. We got Gold Class crew member pocket razors. We got Dang Ross. Of course, the Baird is landed, a crew member. Uh, we also have Marcos Gamma, a member of the crew. Uh, we have Joe Kasprick, Dang Ross, Michael Emler, Crazy Sharp. Awesome channel over there. Sounds like he's got a wild and crazy video he just filmed doing some knife shopping at some different posts. So we're going to have to check that out after the stream. One of the like OGs in the chat, Napster Ninja, having a Sunday off. Thanks for joining us on your day off. That is awesome to see him. Thank you so much for being here. Now, we also have, let's see here, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Kevy Kev, new member to the crew. Thanks for being here. Also, another member of the crew, Ginger Fisher here. Stephen Owens here. I love it. I love it. Uh, who else is here? We got Gonzo in the house. Rule number nine, master of disaster, platinum crew member, rule number nine. Give a little shout out. Platinum crew member in the house. James Alton, new crew member. Thanks for being here. We also have, let's see here, El Cap Attic in the house. We got M Bomb in the house. M Bomb Jerky. Master of Meat. I love it. Let's see what else we got going here. Uh, we got Slim Tissue, member of the crew. And like custom bug out, or not bug out, I'm sorry, custom bench made collection owner slim tissue in the house greg maroney member of the crew is here as well what's up greg will be jumping in member of the crew the radio geek is here as well sean Litticote, member of the crew is here sobek scooter what's happening thanks for being here will be member for 10 months hope everyone has a fun and safe fourth yes most definitely double detent here new member of the crew pnw fun stuff member of the crew is here louis is here as well hashtag be up Crispy Critter, member of the crew, is jumping in. Thank you for being here. Um, just an announcement. Big Red EDC will be making an appearance. He's uh, on a phone call. So he already texted me and said, hey, man, I'll be a little late, but I'll be there. So, you know, you got to have priorities, right? Sometimes family first. Just kidding. Most all the time family first. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, yeah, we got Sobek Scooter here. We also got crew member Byron Kennedy. What's up, Byron? How are ya? Carco, member of the crew, is here as well. Crispy Critter, member of the crew. LP Knife Works in the house. What's happening? Spicy Queso Jerky dropping a new flavor M-Bomb next week. Okay. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Um, let's see. We also got Jim Miller. Remember the crew is here. Sent my CQ C7 to Benchmade for a rebuild last week. Nice. Very nice. Chew Divers here. Remember the crew. Thanks for being here. Mark Vickers as well. Addicted to Blades 2 is in the house. What's happening? Double D tent. Remember the crew is here. What's happening? We also got, let's see. Get caught up on all the messages here. Matt Michaelis. Michaelis? Probably McKellis. Matt McKellis in the house. Happy Sunday. Sean Litticoat, member of the crew. Dane Gavrilowski, another platinum crew member. Thank you for being here, Dane. Elijah, 
What's up, Elijah? Good to see you. Paper Tiger, Platinum crew member in the house. What's up, Paper Tiger? Thank you for joining in as well. Good to see everyone here. Now, you guys probably saw a little, you know, video here in the last day or so. If you haven't, check it out. It's the mini bug out video. Um, we have a little fun activity going on with some of these. And we'll, we'll share some of the new colors here coming up. But I wanted to do a fun little uh, trivia game for a little channel swag pack. And that's going to be, let's do a question real quick. Ginger Fisher, member of the crew, what's up? And let's see here. Beefer Baron, platinum crew member jumping in as well. What's up, Beefer? Mike Jernak, a gold class crew member. What is happening? Z-Man ZDC, hey yo, happy 4th of July, Zach. Thank you, Z-Man EDC, for the super chat. <laughs> Always appreciated, and it goes right back into things like this little bit of trivia we're going to do today. Twang Thang, member of the crew is here. What's up, Chris Rayner? as well jumping in so first question and this will be first answer on my screen will win a channel swag pack and we'll try to find a couple of extras as well of swag but you know you get the dskfs patch some stickers all that good stuff so first question are you ready how many colonies claimed independence on july 4th 1776 from Great Britain. That is question number one. What's up, Antony? So the first person we see, I have it locked in. It looks like the first on my screen is M Bomb. M Bomb with a 13 is how many colonies? That's amazing, you guys. Look at all the answers that are popping up without people having to Google it. That's some history right there. You know, American history. I appreciate that. And M-Bomb and, and rule number nine, you were super close. But M-Bomb popped up first. Rule number nine was second. Dang Ross third. Greg Maroney fourth. Paper Tiger fifth. What's up, Pretty Fly for a Knife Guy? Remember the crew? But that is awesome. That is awesome. So thank you guys for that. I know, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. So the first that first one goes to... Oh, you're lagging? Oh, bummer. I'm sorry. Yeah, so if you're... Let's do one more for a swag pack. We'll do one more. And let's make sure everybody gets caught up. So if you have to refresh, do all that. Um, but let's put a let's put M-Bomb on there as the winner of that one. Just so we know. And we'll do one more here. <laughs> What's up, Layla? Member of the crew, thanks for being here. David as well. Member of the crew, thanks for jumping in. Oh, excuse me. M-Bomb says, send it to my bro, Marcos. All right, so Marcos, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. Hit me up um, or Instagram DM. Either way, we've chatted before. But yeah, send me an email then or a message there, Marcos, and we'll get that to you. Very kind, little DSKFS. Do something kind for someone from M-Bomb. Thanks for doing that. Demonoc13 in the house. What's happening? Thank you for being here. Mr. Fluffy, member of the crew. Hey, everyone. Happy 4th. It's coming up fast. Very, very cool. Yes, definitely rule number 9. Okay, so everybody's refreshed, right? Everybody's up. Going on the stream because we got one more. Pennsylvania and South Carolina voted against independence. <laughs> I, it was it was crazy reading back through that because I haven't read back through it in a while. So I'm reading through the history stuff again, you know, this weekend, getting some uh, questions up. And I was like, okay, okay, very nice. BC Jerbs in the house, member of the crew, and also celebrating Canada Day yesterday. Happy Canada Day. BC, appreciate that. Right back at you. So... KK also jumping in, member of the crew. Thanks for being here, KK. And now that everybody's refreshed and ready to go, we have one more question for a channel swag pack. Are you ready? 
<laughs> Betsy Ross. <laughs> Mark Vickers. Get it. Throwing it out there. Throwing it out there. Uh, okay, so the question is, what's up, Granny? Remember the crew? Here's your question. First one on my screen will win a channel swag pack for this. When did the 4th of July become a federal holiday? What year? <laughs> Louis like, we got this. Heidi's jumping in there as well. What's up, Heidi? All right, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this one because we got years jumping all over the place. Okay, I got it. I got it locked in. I see a winner on the screen. So let me go back and double check. So we got a winner. We do have a winner. And we'll announce the correct one here in just one second. But I just want to double check. Make sure it's in order. Uh, we didn't skip anything. And it is 1870. And this one's pretty straight up. Uh, there's nobody really close by with the same answer. So double detent. Newest crew member. Double detent. Congratulations on your correct answer so the fourth of july became a federal holiday in 1870 1870 going crazy with that so that's pretty cool oh your sister's birthday is the fourth too nice z man what's up nick martino your sister's birthday is the fourth nice nice very nice yeah so so many of you guys got it after the fact but on his own double detent throwing it down Love it. Neil Drake's jumping in. What's up, Neil Jake? Drake? Blah, blah, blah. Neil Blake? Blake? Come on. Pronounce it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it did. And that's a, the funny part, Greg, is that's one of the questions where it's like, you know, wow, almost 100 years. Almost 100 years for it to become a federal holiday. And then it was like another quite a while. I think not until the 1900s, it actually became a like paid federal holiday to federal employees. So yep, exactly. Roll up to the centennial. Yep. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, Chris, I can't type fast enough. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Mo better deal. Get up. What's happening. I should be outside working on my truck, but it's hot. Yeah. Hey, shout out to everybody. I know across North America, we're having a heat wave. Uh, we're in the you know Pacific Northwest here. It's going to be mid-80s. Uh, 4th of July, it's supposed to be uh, 95 here in the old Pacific Northwest. 95 on Tuesday. So it's going to be some hot grilling that day. Yeah, definitely. What's up, Big Red EDC? Master moderator and platinum crew member. I told everybody that you had to take a, a phone call. And that you, you know, family first. So we get it. We get it. <laughs> Thanks, Gonzo. Yeah. Didn't specify BC or AD. <laughs> Ding Ross is like, I'm sorry for that. Crispy EDC. Platinum crew members here as well. What's up, Crispy? Welcome, welcome. We got OCD for EDC in the house. Another master moderator and platinum crew member. Thank you so much for being here. Can't wait for your live stream tonight. We had an awesome live stream last night on SKL. We're on Big Red. If you haven't checked it out, go give it a watch. Frijolito, what's up, man? That is an awesome screen name. Frijolito. OCD for EDC for 35 months has been a platinum crew member. Says, hello, hello, beaches. Hope you're all enjoying the holiday weekend. Very nice. Yes, holiday weekend for most. Um... A lot of my staff, we're all going to be working tomorrow. I know I've talked to a lot of people, and some people got a four-day weekend. Others took the Monday off, you know, like, why I want to go to work for one day. Uh, I get that, but it's all good. Well, hopefully, uh, it'll be a low-key day tomorrow. We'll just get some backlog work done where I'm at. Get it all dialed in, you know. Yeah, I like that. Frio Lito, first time in the chat. Welcome in. Very, very cool. So, we had some stuff going on. Uh, we have some knives coming out. We have some new colors. So, first off, 
Zach, four days till two year. Oh, nice, Mike. Nice. Mike is going to be a Platinum Crew member in four days. So next weekend, we'll celebrate that. And like I said, I, the ball's rolling for my Platinum Crew members, so I got something fun planned for all my Platinum Crew members. And to be a Platinum Crew member, you have to be a member, a paying member of the channel for 24 months. And I just want to give back, show my appreciation for their support. Um, everyone that's here is awesome. So thank you. And those of you who have, you know, donated during the Super Chats and being here and commenting, that's the, that's the most precious gift to me because it's like the interaction is awesome. And you all know that because you're here and we all jump in everybody's live streams and it was fun. I mean, who, who knows who you can run into when you're out in the middle of nowhere? Uh, you know, said Stevie had that cool interaction last night. If you haven't checked out said faction from late last night, <laughs> pretty wild story there. Saw plenty of you in there as well. So you guys know what we're talking about. <laughs> Carl, we'll just say AKA hashtag Carl. Uh, Twang thing. Remember the crew is here. What's up? Oh, you're working the fireworks selling light up toys. Nice. Right on Gonzo. I'll just throw it out here for anyone looking for an alternate fourth menu. We are doing a Cajun shrimp boil, sausage, shrimp, cob corn, red potatoes, Cajun spices, beer in the boil. That is awesome, Byron. That sounds delicious. Must be getting close. Crispy, you're a Platinum Crew member, man. If you look at the logo next to your name there when you type, um, you have the Platinum Crew member emoji. I think that's an emoji. Little icon next to your name. So, yeah. You've been a Platinum Crew member now, so congratulations. Same with Z-Man as well, Platinum Crew member. Took the whole week off, but not the holiday because Mrs. Z-Man's Scotland for a couple weeks. Okay. Spend quality time with the boys for a chunk of that. Nice. Right on, Z-Man. That's so cool, man. Yeah, that is so cool. DE's in the house. What's up, Diamond? Shout out to my boy, Walker. Yeah, right on, dang. Went to Legoland with the family yesterday. It was awesome. Nice, nice. Wasn't sure if that was platinum. Oh, yeah, Crispy. Yeah, you got the platinum in there. Read my last message to you. Oh, man, I got to go back. Okay, okay. Big Red donating a channel membership. Zach, you're a platinum meat member in my books. <laughs> nice, M Bomb. Nice. Big Red at EC. Showing some love. Donating a channel membership. And Mark Vickers. Got his channel membership back. Thank you, Big Red. And welcome back to Zach's Daily Carry Crew, Mark Vickers. So, I'm finishing up some stuff today so I can get those videos up that I promised you last weekend. So, <laughs> work was crazy all week. I normally have Fridays off. I had to work on Friday as well. But we got stuff done. So, that's good. Um, what's everybody doing on fourth? There you go. So, I want to know... And I'll show you what I'm carrying today because I always forget that at the end of it. But what are you carrying today? This Sunday, beginning of July, pre-4th of July, what's your Sunday carry today? Or those of you who may already be Monday, what is your Monday carry? <laughs> go ahead and post it up in the chat. We'll go through it. And Tony's got the PM2. Nice, nice. Became a paid July 4th in 1941. Bro, Google says that anyway. Oh, 1941. Yeah, I knew it was in the 1900s, but I was like, it took a long, long time. Vosti Thunderbird for Mark Vickers. Bug out for Layla. What's up, Layla? Crew member. I'm not here for Zach's us. I'm here for Zach's stuff. <laughs> What's up, Dr. Drew? How are you? Shaman for Matt. Um, carrying the CJRB Large Pirate for Louie. Nice. PM2 Tonto for Z-Man. Heidi's got the Nakamura. Yeah, I love the Nakamura designs. Hola, Pedro. Vote for Pedro. <laughs> there you go. Stephen Owens got the Devo Pony Stout and a Microburst. David's got a Bug Out. XM18 for Paper Tiger. What's up, Paper Tiger? Hinderer XM24 for Hallucinosis. Very awesome. Um, got the Mini Osborne for Elijah. Right on. The OG Orange Mini Bug Out and the Jade Pinion for Kevy Kev. Nice. Got the OG orange bug out right here. A little bit different thumb studs, but you saw that a couple weeks ago. Um, let's see. My new Yojumbo S90V and an XOM for double detent. Nice. Those Yojumbers are awesome. I think they're all hollow ground, right? I love that. S90V bug out for Sean Lidicote. 
Devo Mash version 2 for Neil Drake. Sunday Light carries a Devo Stout and an O-Tool Multi-Tool for Jim. Some Kershaw Flipper, I cannot read the other name. Need to get some reading glasses, says the Baird has landed. Nice. Uh, pretty Fly for a Knife, guys. Got the Spyderco PM2 Tonto and M4. Aaron B's in the house. Got the s 90 Yo Jumbo, 15V Manix, the 15V Shaman, and a Sen Cut Slashkin. Super Light Carry today, Kaiser Squid Ward for Twang Thang. Napster Ninja's got the Spyderco K1 with custom flag anodizing. ABW, American Blade Works Model 1, and the God of Mischief, Hank, for Crispy Critter. Nice. Um, let's see here. Where did I where did I lose lose it? There we go. Mini Nightshade, still breaking it in for Granny. Vostied Corgi for now for Big Red. Nice. Benchmade Super Freak and a 940 M4 Vic with Met and Boss Scales for Pocket Razors. That's a nice little upgraded one. I like that one. Birthday present in the Narrows. Love it, says Chew, Drive, Chew Diver. Nice, nice. Had my 943 in the pocket for yard work today, says OCD for EDC. OCD for DC. OCD for DC. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, Devo Stout, Kaiser Lawn, Olai S1R Baton, Lancelot, La 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 Lancelot Wallet, the Iggy Hank, and the 365 TAC Ops for Gonzo. Pony Stout in my pocket, watching my red, white, and blue theme, says Dr. Drew. Douglas is here. What's up, Douglas? Got the Tempest Pinion Natural G10, the Streamlight 66606, keeping it light in the heat. Arcane Design, Praytheon, I love the Praytheon, and the Shaman for Demon Ock. Carrie is a Rosecraft Mini Riverbend Skinner for Byron. Mr. Fluffy says the CDC Hanson in blue with pink sprinkles. Nice. Greg is here. He's got the Kaiser Veritas Tempest Pinion and a CRKT Minimalist Bowie. I like those Minimalists. Those are cool. I mean, they're all cool, but you know. Uh, Satin 710. With hand polished ivory scales and a carbon fiber S90V 551 grip for slim tissue. See what I'm saying? Always got the custom bench mates. Spider Co. Paisan for Trevor. What's up, Trevor? Radio Geeks got the CGRB Echo and a mini bug out in black. Got the mini bug out in all black right here. Love it. Uh, Rocking the Real Steel Luna, the PM3 Lightweight, the Pair 3 Lightweight, and the Kaiser Baby. For my fix today for BC Gerbs. Nice. Pedro's got the Chunky Baby. <laughs> Just carrying the Chunky Baby. Oh, I got you. I got you. Uh, CMF print with Metarite Pivot for Ryan. Nice. The Metarite Meteorite. I was like, why does it say Metar? But you got to pronounce all the letters. Meteorite. Uh, Microtech Glycon for Addicted to Blades 2. Flipping Burgers and petting the 228 Chavez American for M-Bomb. Andrew Arnold, Gold Class crew members here. Maxim at PM2 and my sack Tinker. Steel Wheel Modus and a Shrade Barlow for James. All very nice. Carried the Chopped Shaman. Dude, those chopped knives are awesome, dang. Dang Ross got the Chopped Shaman and Rex 45 and a Kershaw Livewire. Those are legit. Um, Benchmade. Presidio 1 Auto, the Silver Stag, Stag Slip Joint, the Red Victorinox Huntsman, the Big Red EDC Coin, and the Forest Tank for rule number nine. Yeah, the Jumbo's Hollow. Yeah, I love that. Malibu Warney and Magna Cup for Johnny Quesada, member of the crew. What's up, Johnny? Artisan Mallory Biome for DE. Small Sabenza 31 for Dane Gavrolowski. Cherry Pie is here. ZT's today. 0452 and then 0022. Joseph S. has the Finch Halo. The GEC number 56 Scrambler, the Mini Tech Bowie, and a Paraclaw. Joe K. Joe Kasperick has the Towser K. I like that little uh, theme there. Mini Griptilian, the Phoenix LD30, and a big red coin. Chris Rayner's got the Code 118 Wallet, the Kaiser Bagai in 3V with the Micarta Scales. I love this thing. Lightweight Sunday Carry today. Picking up a Gold Class Mini Osborne this week, says Kevin Kidd. Nice. Gold Class Mini Osborne. Oh, you don't say. Where's my Mini Class, uh, or my Mini Gold Class Osborne? Let's throw this in there. Let's we'll scoot it over a little bit. Make a little room for the Mini. Make a little room for the Mini. 
Um, still fidgeting with my Father's Day gift, the Senka Serene, says Craig. Nice. Uh, sitting beside my knife case, so I'm carrying everything, says Crispy EDC. Oh, yeah. Carrying the Manix Lightweight Black on Black today, says Kresk. Kresk is here, new crew member. Welcome. Ground Fog, another crew member jumping in. So is Dwayne Letterman, a member of the crew. Thank you guys for all being here and your support. All right, what else we got here? Aaron B's got a... Oh, just bought the DLT exclusive black and purple crew wear yo Jimbo from OCD for EDC last night for a great price. Ooh, nice. Iggy Hanks are the best. Perfect size. Nice and soft. Very cool of that. I love I love the Hanks. Having them handy. So useful. Top Dog jumping in. Remember the crew is here. What is up, Top Dog? Mike Jernak is carrying the Kubi Atlas and 945 Benchman and an I5T Olight. Very cool. Just a pair of three for Subex. Is it's not just a pair of three. It is the pair of three. <laughs> the Spider Co. Pair of three. <laughs> Had a hidden sack camper with the Olight attached in my hoodie. There you go. Bama Ninja EDC. What is up? Jumping in. How are you? How are you? Dang Ross says, a PSA, don't show your sack to strangers. Where's that orange black bug out you showed your saber sack? We are going to jump into that here, especially innocent tourists. Yeah, no doubt. All right. I think we got caught up on that. Dan Brock jumping in. What is up? Dan Brock, a member of the crew, has got the Native 5 Salt and Magnet Cut and a bunch of thanks for Sunday afternoon live streams from Zach Stuff. Well, welcome in, Dan. Appreciate it. DSKFS, not DSKGS. <laughs> oh, too funny, too funny. Demco 20.5 for Chris Bridgman. Remember the crew, nice. So many things you can do with all of our knives. Uh, shout out to all the aftermarket companies. Dialing stuff up so we can get some pretty things. Uh, Benchmade 945 Mini Osborne. Floating gold plated backspacer. Very beautiful, damn steel blade, all the fun stuff, and a boring pocket clip. But you know, I guess you can't you can't have home runs every time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But overall, very very cool. That's the limited unlimited. It'll probably be here through the rest of the year. Hopefully, that's the goal. Uh, the stormtrooper mini bug out. You got the original orange. Don't cut your finger. Mini bug out. That's the hard part with those minis. <laughs> the all black. I love it. The BK-2 mini bug out. Can't go wrong with that either. And of course, the S90V carbon fiber, black backspacer geared. We're rolling. All right, so M-Bomb. Got to go back and read another message. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I said DSKFS, not DSKGS. Yeah, we got that one. Fat thumbs. <laughs> I got you. I got you. About jerky. Got to go further back here. Stand by to stand by. Last message about jerky. All I see is you saying hi to everybody. You'll have to repost it there. Um, You know what bench made I'd go for, but that new orange and black totally reps BC gerbs colors. I always have a couple extra lynch clips on hand. Ready for a new knife. Yes. The lynch clips are awesome. I think it'd be good on those. SBD Apex for Byron, Brian Wise. Brian Wise. Now, we got some cool new flavor colors in the mini bug out. This is the awesome sea foam, <clears throat> minty green ice cream. But it's got the cool, you know, gray tungsten Cerakote on it. Black hardware, black clip. So that's a fun one, one of the new ones that's out. The other one, this is the Mesa Red. I think it would have been sweet with that uh, black coated blade, but I got it, I got it. You know, it's all good. It's got the black hardware though. And they went with the stonewash clip. Uh, I would have went black clip, but you know, you know. That's how it goes. <laughs> Best jerky I've had all year was from M-Bomb, yeah. And Bomb makes some awesome jerky. Handful of meat, mouthful of nuts? No. Handful of nuts, mouthful of meat. 
There you go. My busy 4th of July weekend continues. All right, Dr. Drew, appreciate you jumping in. I know you're busy working. Rock and roll. And then, of course, the Alpine Glow, which this one's kind of, I've kind of taken a liking to this one. Uh, in person, the color's kind of cool. You know, it's kind of got that pinkish, grayish tone to it. Maybe it's the kind of black cobalt Cerakoted blade. I don't know. But out of these three, I, I would select this one. Um, this is the one I'll carry tomorrow. We'll rally that. But, you know, you know, Zach had to roll in the Benchmade and be like, all right, let's 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 purchase some new colored mini bug outs. And then I was like, I have the whole collection of mini bug outs that have ever been released. So I could not get them. And you never know what will what'll come of that. You never know. Just saying. Is Todd jumping in? What's up, Todd? Member of the crew, thanks for being here. We were talking about Canada Day yesterday. Happy Canada Day. New rules coming up in Canada. If you can flip it open one-handed, it won't make it into Canada. Well, that is no fun. <laughs> Ship Two shipments of parts. <laughs> These are, uh, you know, EDC parts. <laughs> uh, I only have one... But I only have one benchmate. It's the mini bug out in orange. And it's crazy sharp. This twenty thing. Yeah, they do those smaller ones really sharp, really good, which is crazy. Um, take care, Drew. Yes, definitely take care, Drew. And this is what I'm carrying today. It's the full immunity in that crater blue color. I love it. It is first production as well. Shout out to Benchmade. Still doing the first production runs on some of the knives, which is awesome. Uh, anodized aluminum. Super sharp. Uh, confirm that with uh, OCD for EDC. They did some good sharpness on these. He did some testing on it. But yeah, M4. Great little pocket knife. Great to throw in the shorts, have around town. Whatever you're doing, you know, have some fun with it, right? We'll throw some of this out there as well. So that's what's in my pocket today. Right? <laughs> exactly. What's next? Banning hockey? Oh, them are, them are some fighting words there. there you know, there, there were some funny uh, memes and talk about, you know, the Stanley Cup and Lord Stanley's Cup and uh, how many Canadian teams made it in the playoffs. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm going to take some heat for that one, but it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, man, you read your last message you post again. All right. David, thanks. Embalm. When did you post it, man? I am not seeing it. Big Red, thanks for posting the link for the mini bug out there. If you want to check out the different styles and colors. All I see was read my last message about meat. You're saying hi to people. Let's see. We got this M-bomb uh, stuff. David, thanks for you two being awesome. Bloom Black Mini Bug Out. I know, right, DE? I'm waiting for that. Hi, brother Cheeto. What's up, Cheeto Bandito? I'm looking for that M-bomb thing. It said, read my last message. I post again. I don't see it. I don't see it in there. AD 20.5. Ship successfully past customs and pieces. The struggle is real, says Trevor. Yeah, no doubt. They're good to put in the Altoids can kit. Oh, yeah, mini bug out. Yeah, they fit right in there. One minute back. Struggle, M-Bomb. Struggling on this. I don't have time I don't have time slots on my chat, so let me go back a minute ago. See if I can get some more. You're saying hi to Top Dog. Hi to Aaron. Hi to Bro Doc. Oh, man, M-Bomb, you're killing me. I don't see it. Uh, I went all the way back to when you're flipping burgers. So maybe the chat just removed it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I think you're being censored. Try it in a couple of messages rather than one. Yeah, I'm not even seeing it. It's not even popping up to approve. So, but there's the link right there for M-Bomb Jerky on Instagram. If you want to order some up for yourself, it's delicious. Um, I'm going to have to place another order, but I'm going to have to like collaborate with somebody like Big Red or something to... Get some more of that delicious DSKFS flavor because that's one of my favorites too. I was close up with the Stanley Cup the other day. Oh, nice, Demon Hawk. Right on. 
That's cool. Cheeto, yeah, buddy, Cheeto, Bean, Dito. Remember the crew? All right, for the fourth, I'm going to donate a bag of DSKFS jerky. Just have Zach hit me up. I got deleted because I put my email. Oh, you put your email. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a link right there on Instagram. Save that link because whoever wins, it sounds like M-Bomb is going to DSKFS the DSKFS jerky, a bag of it. So that's awesome. So thank you so much, M-Bomb. Sorry about that. I was like, I was seriously trying to find it. I'm like, it is not showing your message whatsoever. Like, it didn't even hold it to be approved by us or a mod, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt, M-Bomb. I got you, I got you. Uh, copy and paste your comment five times in a row, M-Bomb. Yeah, he got it through, he got it through. What's up, Jeremy? Welcome in, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Yeah, <laughs> that's too funny. That's pretty awesome. Well, I have a couple things uh, that I ordered up. And then I have something that came in, kind of did a little order. Yeah, Big Red didn't see it either. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Snap it for Zach. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but I did a little patch swap also with somebody. Uh, a notorious crew member. Just kidding. Play on words. But yeah, this is the Mesa Red. Uh, just a quick comparison. Mesa red on the bottom, orange on top. Just a slight shade different of darkness to that Mesa red. So it really goes well with the colors. Um, you know, I would support a darker blade color, but I guess you got to make choices on all of them. They, they wanted to sell these, so they did the gray blade on the minty, which I think mint would go better with black for like mint chocolate chip ice cream, but you know. Just saying, just saying. Uh, a burnt orange, yeah, that's kind of what it is. And, you know, I guess that's kind of what Mesa Red is. You know, I haven't I haven't had Crayola in a while, so I guess I'd have to do that. Yeah, it's too bad the jerky gets stopped at the border. They don't like a mouthful of meat in customs, I guess, in Canada. It's all right. It's too bad you can't, like, send one for them and send one to pass along. Like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy with the customs up there. Yeah, the red and black's nice. And they're going to have a red and black shootout that they're going to come out with. That'll be coming up shortly. But let's see what we got. We got a couple things here. I got one thing that I'm going to have to open, like, pseudo off screen because I don't know what's inside of it. I know who it's from, but I don't know what's inside. So first off, we have an orange package that's here. Um, probably going to utilize, let's do the, utilize the new shootout for this one, just because we need a little more and I haven't taken that channel unboxing knife to the work sharp yet. I need to do that because it's made to tear through some craziness. So we got our paperwork. We'll put that off to the side. This is, like I said, this is a kind of a order slash patch swap it swap as well so we have a combo and now i'm kind of kicking myself because i had two letters that got mailed in and i set them in one of those places that oh yeah i'll, I'll make sure to remember this for sunday's live stream and now i can't find it dang it dang it all all right stand by we're gonna double check a couple places just to make sure they're not hiding here. They should be right here, but man, I thought I was all prepared too. Oh, well, so let's see which is which. Okay, that's pretty awesome. This this one's the awesome patch swap. This one is a, an order I placed. Drop point at the open park by Vancouver border. I <laughs> raced stuff over with it, yeah. <laughs> with with remote controlled cars like a like a drone thing <laughs> yeah we wouldn't get in trouble for that at all at the border <laughs> dude i've watched those shows man they take that stuff so serious all right so we got a couple patches and these are ranger eyes and these are notorious edc 
So if you know who Notorious EDC is, um, he does awesome drops on some cool patches, some other EDC gear. He also makes uh, like a modern traditional design that he's put out like the Kingpin. So if you want to get in on any of those drops, definitely, definitely sign up over at his website. And I'm going to try to get some light on this one so you can kind of see what's going on with it. A little bit better. But this is the blacked out Ranger Eye for Notorious EDC. A pretty cool little Ranger Eye patch to have. It's pretty awesome. But he did a little drop the other day and was like, hey, uh, I got some patches left over and uh, first come, first serve. So I ordered that up. Also had a little chat with him and I'm like, hey, you want to do a patch swap? Now, you know, he makes the, the cool patches for um run edc kind of like a play on run dmc those of you maybe dating myself what's up jay jonah 707 welcome in thought that package might be another solid wood crate from oc for dc <laughs> yeah break the steel farm boss chainsaw yeah dude if that if i got another one of those i it would be an outdoor uh stream but we got a couple patches during this patch swap and these are the the blacked out run EDC patches. So that's pretty cool. Uh, shout out to Notorious EDC. So we did a little patch swap with some DSKFS patches and such on these. So that's pretty cool. Um, so pretty nice of him to do that. Yeah, he sold out on everything but one patch. I think he has one Ranger Eye patch for sale right now. But the Notorious ones, the run EDC ones are out of stock. The Notorious EDC ones went pretty quick. Um, but he has one patch available and he's, his stuff drops and goes quick. So you can basically keep an eye on his Instagram. Yeah. Murdered out Ranger Eye. It's awesome. But Kevy Kev wasn't run DMC at work out video. <laughs> All right. And Big Red's posting links up there for Notorious CDC. If you go to his website, you can sign up for the, um, information kind of like, you know, you get the email blast on things that are coming up. And he, of all people, is really good about sending out emails like, hey, we're going to do a drop. It's going to come up next week or it's going to come up this weekend, this day, this time. So you kind of get a good idea. But yeah, I need the run EDC patch and the red and black. I, me too, Paper Tiger. It's trick to rock around to rock around. Yeah, exactly. But run EDC is pretty cool. Um, I wanted to get one of the red and black and white ones too, but he's been sold out for a long time on those. And he said... One day he's going to do another run of those, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Run EDC. Yeah, exactly. So it's a cool deal. I would say sign up, um, because even the patch drops, he does the same thing. And it sounds like to me, he's, you know, kind of ramping up for a bigger drop on like the red and black ones. He he'll knowing him, he'll probably like do a slight color change. So you know, the difference between the version one version two, but uh, so BC said, Laceless Adidas. I'm there with you, Zach. I'm down with the king, 100%. Nice. Um, what's up, Tom? Remember the crew, master moderator, Tom's in the house. Happy Zach Day, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, no worries at all. I'll pay the winner for one. Yeah. JB, if you do order one, I'll pay you. I'm always late to the drops. Yeah. I need to run CNC. Yeah, exactly, Ginger Fisher. Yeah, there's a lot of those patches out there. So... Hashtag, it's tricky to get a run EDC patch. Yeah. And he also has, you know, because of like the drops and how quick people are and stuff, he had a uh, sticker patch thing that came out that was like cart sniped because I, I've been in that same thing. I was trying to get one of those red and black run EDC patches, the Ranger Eyes, and it literally is like in my cart. I'm in checkout. It's processing and literally the website updates and says, Sorry, your cart's empty. And I'm like, dude, my payment was processing. So that stuff goes quick, definitely. But I've seen the run CNC patches. I don't know who has those, but somebody makes them. Whose house? <laughs> exactly. So these are some pretty cool ones. Of course, there's two of each. So we'll have to figure something out for, you know, the second one. But I'll be putting one of these on my pouch for sure that I carry with me every day. Runs house. Yeah, cart sniped. <laughs> and we got some log and jotter that came in. 
Um, they have a monthly subscription. They used to have a two option one. Now they just have one. And it's basically $5 a month. It includes taxes and shipping altogether. So that's pretty cool. And let's see here. But yeah. Yeah, the snipers will get you every time. 100%. Ask Molly. Ask Molly. CPM, what's up, man? Welcome in, welcome in. So this is the mon monthly subscription here. Ooh, it's kind of like fuzzing out everything. Now I'm just sad. I can't find those letters. But this is cool. Make a story, tell a story. Moss Toss. Look at that. That's the front cover. That's pretty legit. I like that. Made in America. That's a pretty cool one. I got the graph paper on mine. You can get one that are plain or with dots as well. I like this one. They always have little things in the bottom. You know, pick one, fill a page. Freedom is, a camping story, a problem I'm facing now. Predict the future, what inspires me, ultimate road trip. Sketch a symbol for freedom, advice to someone younger. There you go. It's been six years since our very first notebook took flight. Long did Jotter began. That's pretty cool. Right on. So the log and jotter, that's a pretty awesome one. I know, right? That's pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, it's still playing on the background. Be cool if they made a patch like that. It'd be pretty sweet. That one's big. That one is big. Uh, let's see here. Mm, cheers, Todd. Hola, aqua. Aqua, drink water. What's up, drink water? All right, what do we have with that? Laura Gillespie in the house. Remember the crew? Happy 4th, everyone. I'm working on a dishwasher. Seems I'm always repairing things. <laughs> Very nice. And I think, Laura, did you send me a message? Because I saw something this morning. I haven't had a chance to read through it, but did you send me an Instagram message? Are you the same one? Because if so, it held it in like a temporary side folder of requests. So I got to like work through that today. But if you did, I will get back to you today. Uh, Cherry Pie says, just saw the mini Adamas carbon fiber pre-orders. Change from crewwear to Magna Cut. Hope it doesn't push back delivery. Already waiting since March. Yeah, and it's an awesome knife. It's definitely an awesome knife. Richard, what's up, Richard Kaufman? How are you? Goondocks. By the goondocks. Oh, you did? Okay, Laura. I will get that done today. I saw, I was looking through stuff and it's like the request thing, it didn't, I don't know, because maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the first time you sent me a message on there, but it held it. And all of a sudden I had like two requests in there and I'm like, why do I have requests just pending? Why aren't they coming through as regular messages? But all right, we'll fix all that. All right, I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff around. We got to find these two letters. I don't know where the heck those went. Gosh, darn it. Am I going to have to make a separate video? Pop up video. I think so. Okay, well, to be its own shall it be. Goondogs says, sing to me. Down on the goondogs. Up on the sun. Uh, my name's just Bill, member of the crew, jumping in. What's up? Paul Bessemer as well. What's happening? Luke, master moderator. What is happening, Luke? All right, well... So we got the log and jotter out of the way. That came in. That's a pretty cool design for the month of July. Now, the problem is I'm going to find it the minute I turn this video off today. I'm going to go boom. Because that's the thing. Like there, When that mail comes in, there's only one place I put it in my office. It's frustrating. Okay. Well, so be it. Is it under here? Nope. Oh, well, JB, king of all romantic guys. A little date night last night. I love it. 
Yeah, tuned in just in time to hear Zach serenading the crew. Yep, most definitely. I have that issue with my phone as well, Zach. Seems I have to call people in the States before they can call me. Weirdness. That is so weird. All right, so let's get something else out there. We got a package that came in. Not sure where this is from. So, in all fairness, I want to open it up, but I have to see if there's any like secret love letters in there. We got our channel unboxing knife to get all the safety packaging done. Make sure we don't cut ourselves. We got to be safe as much as we can. Big Red EDC gift and a membership. And Drink Water got his membership back. Thank you, Big Red EDC. <laughs> right on, right on. Well, thank you, Big Red EDC, for donating that membership. And congratulations on getting your membership back at it, Drink Water. Uh, Bama Ninja says, I've been looking at a bailout. We have we have at our local Academy Sports. I think it's the first edition because it's 180-ish. Yeah, if it's the black one in Grivery, it is. The second one that came out was the uh, green anodized aluminum. So that was the second version. And then they got more coming out soon. Was it marked as Zach stuff? If not, somebody thought it was their stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like, oh, this is just anybody's stuff? Oh, we'll take it. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> Thank you, Big Red. That is very nice of you. Big thanks to all the vets in the room, 100%. Yes, definitely. Mike Jernak gifted a membership. And David H. got his membership back. <laughs> very awesome. Thank you, Mike Jernak, for doing that. That was very kind of you. Now, let's see here. Where are we going to put this? Yeah, is it a Benchmade? I don't think it's a Benchmade. I don't think it's a Benchmade. Nobody sends me Benchmades. I mean, you know, if you guys want to, you can definitely send me Benchmades. It might be a Benchmade that somebody was going to send me a Benchmade. That's why I have to open it up and see. I should have, I guess, pre-opened it, but half the fun is like opening it with everyone here because you just don't know what's in there. I mean, I know who it's from. Man, this, this whole security tape thing is legit. There we go. I don't want to go too far because I don't know what's in there. And it's like super well packaged in there. It's like taped inside the box. Look at this. I don't know if I can show you this. It's like taped inside the box. Okay, give me a second here. <laughs> <laughs> this is legit. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is funny. Okay, I got to be careful because I, th I think I know what's in here now. But it's kind of a super secret project deal. So I don't want to mess it up. I mean, it's not super, super secret. They said I could show it on camera. But I think I know what this one is now. Very, very well secured inside the box. Well, that makes it fun. What's in the box? Yeah. So we just want to be careful because I don't know everything that's contained and what's underneath. So I'm trying to be very particular about getting it out of the package. Okay. Shout out, this this takes my packaging to the next level. All right, so let's put that away. We got a donation from CK, Platinum Crew Member, Super Chat. <laughs> a little JT reference there from JJ. <laughs> All right. Well, they had something sharp to cut all this tape. Okay, we've got the first layer. 
Weed City Soul. Got the Mini Presidio 2. The last two weeks, just feeling it. Price considered maybe the best knife in the world. I like the Presidio 2. You got the Mini? Yeah, I have the full size and the Mini. They are terrific. Okay. So, round two. <laughs> I just don't want to damage it. You know what I mean? All right. Let's go at it again. Try to get through just the tape here. Use that beautiful Tonto. Yeah. And, of course, this is all the fuzzy stuff, right? You cut into that fuzzy packaging. <laughs> now, watch it be like a prank or something. I'm just kidding. See, I'm glad I didn't go all crazy. Look. Okay, so nothing else inside. Very, very well padded secured so let's get some of these fuzzies out of here get some of these fuzzies off of the yeah it gets everywhere i know that's why i'm like let's get it out of there okay it's lightweight so i think i'm pretty sure what's in here what is, this is weird Okay. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. Now I'm curious. That's the worst type of envelope. What's up, Women in Knife Review? I know, right? I needed that saw for Mass Faction. So I'm curious on this one. Because I think I know what the deal is with this, but I don't want to be wrong. So this is a limited edition bug out in the JG10. It was kind of a limited edition exclusive thing that Benchmade did. Okay. Dang Ross says, I'm going to have to give that package a solid 8.5 of 10, but could be improved with expanding foam. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bench your head CVM's like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so that's the thing. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and check my messages because I thought this one was a clone. Was a fake. But I'm going to have to double check it. What's up, Gone Awry? So, unless the person that sent it to me is in here, and wants to provide that. I found a Benchmade 707 this past week at work. Oh, wow. That's a nice one to find at work randomly. Yeah, that is that is really weird for sure. No, this was open. This was a purchase anybody could make. Um, but they, it was highly cloned because it was a limited edition. And I think the overall consensus was somebody wanted me to kind of feature it what's up mike how are you no it's about the right you know i mean it's about the right consistency for a bug out um i just don't know <laughs> check the action and centering if it's good it's probably a clone yeah Embalm says, I'll send you a live moth. We don't have butterflies here in New Mexico. Nice. What's up, Sylvia? Silva, Silva, Silva. Yeah, so they, and they, and this is one of the, I think one of the final ones of that year. This is 1268 of 2000 is what's on the blade itself. But yeah, so let me check. Stand by. Let me check my messages on that. Because that'll tell me, like, exactly what we're doing. We'll get it. So, I'll do a feature on this one next week. I didn't know there was two things that were actually getting mailed in. And one of them is actually a damaged knife. Like, a legit knife, but it's been damaged in the field. And it's going to be a cool one to show. And I thought that was this one. Um... Oh, <laughs> there you go, dang Ross. Uh, yeah, Mimo's here. What's up, Michael Morgan? 
That's awesome. The clones are not numbered? Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to double check it because... Oh, is the auto 154 is the only one you've handled gone right? Okay. Found sitting there beside this guy's locker. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to try and check really quick. Because I have I have a real one. But I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to. I want to get the full story. Hold on here. Let's see if we got that. Yeah, I'll have to check and see. Someone's there. Oh, okay, Jason, uh, BC. Yeah. Go check on the door. Be like, hello. So, yeah, so I'll double check with this person and make sure I get the story right because I don't want to misclassify it um, as a clone. But the clones are really, really good. Um, this one... And that's why I was going to check because I was going to check and see if, yeah, I think, yeah, so like the liner inside, I don't know if you guys can see it. Hold on. I think we're going to break this down a little bit, but the liner inside right there, kind of by this finger right here, that liner's popped up and not attached to this screw um, and the screws all the way in. And then... Yeah, same with the other one. So I think I think this is going to be the clone. So it is attached, but it's not milled out properly. So you probably can't see on camera too well, but there's actually no milling. The, the liner sits above the milling. And I think on a legit one. So let's, yeah, let's just break it down real quick. Okay, hold on just a second. I want to check one thing out because I'm going to have to get really quick the model number of this one i want to say it's like 1902 or something but um let's see stand by while i'm uh googling yeah it's the 1901 okay i knew i was close on that yeah, so like Blade HQ had them. They were 260. They were selling them for 234. Oh no, that's their other one. So hold on here. Let me get the 1901. Yeah, I think it's full on. So here's the funny part. So let's just fe let's just feature this while we're here. So this website. Right there, fake. This whole fake website, um, I think this is where they got it. And you can add to cart and buy it right now. This is fake. These are clones. This whole website, fake and clones. So, little PSA. I think this is what we're going for. But it was the 535-1901. But this is a fake website and fake knife. Um, so, let me do a, let me do a check really quick. This is kind of a fun one. And I have a fun uh, giveaway coming up to celebrate the old Independence Day. So hold on really quick. I'm going to check my stock, see if I got one here. But we should have one to showcase. 1902. Where's the 1901? Come on, 1901. There we go. Okay, found it. Hold on, let me get it out of its drawer. Okay. So I found one. And... Sorry for the side turn here. But... 535, 1901. This is a real deal, legit. Bought it from Benchmade. Okay. This one hasn't even been used yet. Ooh. What's up, JR Miz? Gold class crew member. So here's a legit one. 
And I believe the fake one's going to be the one on top, but we're going to double check everything. I don't know. It's looking pretty legit when I look at the liners and the G10. The marks look the same. So I'll have to double check on this one. Mine's number 250 of 2000. So a little bit lower number. So, well, that comparison right there. Yeah, we're going to have to get Cousin Tony involved and be like, yo, Tony. Tony's going to have to show up and be like, all right, we got to check this out. Yeah, they're out of stock everywhere. It was from 2019. So that website I just showed you, though, fakes, fakes, fakes. But yeah, I'll double check the status on the, the stuff here. <laughs> but overall, what I thought was going to be fake was actually how Benchmade designed it. They didn't do an insert for those liners at all. Um, they just sit flush right on top of the the inside of the G10, which is weird. And then they milled out the actual, because of the blue liner, they milled out everything but the butterfly on the inside so it would show through. And obviously had to do it here and by here for a little more support for the barrel spacer. So that's pretty crazy. What's up, Poncho? Platinum crew member, what's happening? So this came from a viewer of the channel, um, a subscriber. And I thought it was uh, a fake one at first, but I am going to have to get to the inside of the, the scoop on this one. I'll have to go back and check my messages. It wasn't the one I thought that was coming in, um, but I'm not sure if it's a fake or not. So I'm guessing by the overall look, it does not appear to be a fake uh, based on the clip and some other stuff that I've seen so far, but I haven't done anything to verify this yet. So it's a little dirty, so we might uh, take it apart and clean it up. But I'll find this out, and we'll have version or part two next week. So we'll see what's going on with it. But all the springs look intact. Everything looks good on it, so that's awesome. Looks like my brothers and sisters made it. Yeah, it was a special, interesting one. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a JG10 fan, but it's all good. Dang, Ross, let's play a game. Put them behind your back and shuffle them. <laughs> Well, the, the crazy part on that is they're numbered, so, but. <laughs> Rob Tendering, also in the house. Thank you, Dang Ross, for that super chat, and that would be a fun game. Um, I do have a clone here that we could do that with, and, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do, maybe I'll do a planned giveaway for something like that. It would be kind of fun. <laughs> Laser etching is usually better on the fakes. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen some of the fake ones, and they've been kind of blurry and fuzzy on a cu certain couple details. But, yeah, I don't want to call this person out because um, I don't think they're here. Otherwise, they would have told me what's happening with it. Are we to assume you have experience in such matters? Yeah, you can assume a little bit. You can assume a little bit. Um, I, haven't, I haven't gone crazy and bought any fakes and clones. I just don't support that. I wouldn't want to give somebody money, but as you can see, even that, that, that site I showed you it is a fake website, but it comes up, you know, four or five in your Google searches most times. So it's just a, a CYA because I don't want people to get like scam like that. That just really, really sucks and pisses me off. And the crazy part is if you ever take it into Benchmade or send it in for repair, like spring breaks or something else it's like they literally will not return it to you and that's why they put it on their policy like even if i was to walk it in um and say hey i need to get this service or whatever and i turn it in it's gone i'll never see it again so they destroy them i mean that's what they do i get it oh you saw a 30 dollar sabenza yeah <laughs> Kind, kind of regret not buying it. I, I, I get the urge, but what pisses me off is a, an out and out clone fake. I hate that because somebody's going to invest their hard earned money, which is just like on that one, it's $160 plus shipping. And you might go, Oh, it's a little cheap, but the, the website looks halfway legit. It's not. Um, and I can tell you that Benchmade's already been working to try to get rid of that website and it's a hard deal. So, uh, if fake send it to me to clarify, they might get number two, <laughs> get back number two. <laughs> nice. M bomb. Thank you so much. 
Yeah, don't send Chinese products to Benchmade. Got it, yeah. Okay, we can cue the jokes about him chopping them up. No, no. Um, but it takes away from Benchmade, and it, and it takes away... Yeah, hashtag don't piss Zach off, yeah. And the thing for me is, like, it, it just sucks. It just really chaps my hide because... I mean, I get, like, people are going to pay money and be like, hey, I got new knives. I bought these, you know, hard-earned money. You know, that's why it's always good to go with, like, a reputable dealer for whoever you're buying from. Um, because I've seen people, even on, you know, aftermarket sites and other stuff, and I've had a few people reach out and be like, hey, we got this listing on our website. Can you double-check some stuff for us? Because, you know, it's fake, you know? Steven said, I bought a couple of clones back in the day, but only to compare to the real one I have. Yeah. And that's, and that's hard, you know, and that's the thing with like, that's why I'm still a supporter. Like on my list, I have a list here and it's antennas on butterflies, put the numbers back on the first pros and the limited editions, and then put the 940 in the custom shop. I need to add a fourth one to my list, my wish list for Benchmade. And that is, you know, bring back the red class. Bring back a red class knife. Uh, find a budget way to make it. I mean, other companies are doing it as well and keeping the price down. And there's some wonderful factories in Taiwan and other places that are making good knives for American companies, you know. Uh, Crispy says, hypothetically, let's say bug out. I bought or I bug out and I bought flitinium scales and tie screws. After the swap, I bought a clone and replaced the scales and screws with the original ones. How bad is that? You could do that as well, but you're still going to have like the liners aren't made of the same steel, um, you know, your springs and other stuff. And you can upgrade those and kind of rebuild it. You may end up having problems with your, your lock bar on the access lock. Um, you know, it's a lot of stuff. And then, you know, the steel may snap, you know, who knows what they're actually making it with, but it would be an interesting, it would be an interesting thing, but maybe, maybe I'll do that. If we end up with a clone here, maybe I'll do a rebuild on it and see how close we can get. Um, site selling a $50 clones on. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Slim. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Hashtag don't piss, piss on Zach. <laughs> Thanks. JR. Yeah, yeah. Um, I see fig med for all the time. Yeah. And that's so crazy. So, and it kind of sucks because you go to the source, <laughs> Guangzhou, <laughs> Uh, Shane mistakenly sent in a clone to Microtech for repair. They promptly destroyed it. Yeah, that sucks, Michael. Yeah. One hand could look at it as a huge compliment to Benchmade. The only clone seen clone popular models. Yeah, Nick, they do. Zach's 95, these. <laughs> we want the red class. Yeah, exactly. Keep it real. Hashtag keep it real. Yeah, to destroy counterfeit knives, Benchmade has OC police come and shoot them. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Make a brown class for the Chicanos. <laughs> oh, for your for us Chicanos? Okay, I'm bomb. All right. Soon to be China makes good stuff. <laughs> Taiwan, yeah. I think Cousin Tony might know a guy who knows a guy who can <laughs> cord that website and send it to the bottom of the fishers. Yeah, exactly, Byron. Yeah, Tony's pre pretty uh, resourceful, you know. He's got those East Coast resources, you know. Yeah, and that's the hard part is, you know, a lot of those companies will put that waiver on there and be like, hey, if you do send us something in and it's fake, you know, we will not send it back. Uh, they will destroy it. So we need a zero meeting with like a 4.2 inch blade. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Pretty fly for night guy. Definitely. You don't put a Cadillac body on a Yugo frame, <laughs> right? You can put lipstick and makeup on a pig and it's still a pig. Exactly, Bama. Um... Is there a maker's mark on the real Benchmade knives that prove their legit? Well, and that's the thing, like, everybody puts their logos and everything on it, but the clones are replicating everything. Um, there's a few things that are on knives that I can't talk about um, that kind of help clarify legitimate ones and non-legitimate ones. Um, yeah, and that's the hard part one minute. Like, you know, if you made something and somebody sent you a clone to repair, are you going to spend the money and put it back out into the market with the potential that they could say, Hey, I got it back from Benchmade. You know, um, it just, it's hard. 
So, yeah, and I, it's it's pretty crazy. So next week we'll have a follow up on it. We'll go out at get all crazy with it, all that fun stuff. What's up, Gator Aaron? Remember the crew? Make the immunity overseas and call it the diplomatic immunity. <laughs> yeah. Tr- trust me. Trust you. Your cousin told you that. Yeah. The thing that messes me is when you have scammers trying to rip you off 400 plus by selling them for 50 bucks. How stupid do you think we are? And people will buy them. You know, people will be go like, hey, I know it's a fake $400 knife and I'm only paying 50 bucks. I'll buy it. Right. And I get some of the reason why companies are doing that to make a quick buck. But it really pisses me off when somebody's like fronting up a website and all the models to make it look real. And then they're charging, you know, two thirds or more of the price that it was originally, you know? So it's like, okay, this was 230 bucks, but we're selling it right now for 165 plus shipping. You know, we're just trying to get rid of some old stock or whatever. No way. Fact overseas, call it the alternative fact. Yeah. And that, to me, that's the thing, like how easy would it be to be like, Hey, we're going to bring back the red class and even, even take some of the old red class models, right? Pika, Pika two, those things, make them overseas again and upgrade them, put an access lock on them, you know, put, I mean, there's a couple people that left comments on the narrows video. It was like, I'd love to see this, this new torsion access lock on some new knives, you know? And I mean, do something like that where you could really get it in there. Gator's a pimp. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love those quotes, man. Will Ferrell, it's so funny. Kind of like Spider-Co Mark's Factory Seconds, but maybe inside the knife. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Josh. Come up with something. Do it that one, and it's it's done. Yeah, and then they win. Yeah. 99 problems, but Gator ain't one. <laughs> That uh, was it the movie, the other guys where he's like, dude, you're running girls. And he's like, no, I wasn't. I was just providing security for a friend of mine that was going on dates. <laughs> and then she had a couple other friends that wanted to do it too. And everyone's buys Chinese. Yeah. And, and here's the thing. I don't knock a, I don't knock a knife that's made in another country, but I knock a knife. That's like, Hey, this is a Hogue Deca, but let's say somebody makes a clone and it's trying to sell it as a Hogue Deca, marked the same and everything, but made in, in China or another country. And it's like, that sucks. That's That upsets me. Benchmade will not and should not produce out of the USA. Well, and they used to. That's the thing. They used to do the red class out of Taiwan. You know, there was a lot of it out of there. They were doing that when they first got that all started. And I get it. And if they don't want to do that, then maybe they should come up with a, you know, a red class line made in the U S and kind of start over on some models, you know, they got engineers and everybody that could upgrade them. And, you know, let's see some more budget friendly knives. I'm just, you know, that's one of my things you've heard about me saying the red class, they will when their margins get squeezed. And that's the thing for everybody right now. Right. Do you make, do you make a $580 knife and how many of those do you sell? Or do you make a hundred dollar knife? And how many do you do you sell on those? What's your profit margin on each? Yeah, exactly, David. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, well, my easy twist to try to prove that as a fake knife failed because it matched one of the originals. Um, you know? <laughs> Only reason I don't like Chinese knives is because China is our enemy. And that's one of the things that, you know, that's a, that's a good topic of conversation and gets into a lot of politics over everything. And, you know, if you really start digging into it, how dependent we are on those countries, it's scary. So, uh, my dealer brought in four narrows and has sold zero. Yeah, that's how it goes. You know, got the mini Osborne gold edition. Nice Silva. Nice. Do what Captain did. CC poor P P for right. Uh, oh lordy. CPM man, I love it. Um I buy USA when I can. Not gonna lie, some of these doors get cloned because US parts great. And I don't even mind. I mean, we've seen all the companies do uh the access lock, right? Especially when the patent expired. 
other companies doing it out of China, other companies in the U.S. Make your own design. Like take something that you know is there and like, okay, we can legally make an access lock knife. So Hogue's like, we're gonna do the able lock, you know. And then of course the goat scales is like, we're gonna do an expanded aluminum handle and a whole bunch of others. I get it. You know, competition's great. It builds, makes it better. It also will help control prices, hopefully, you know. Um, Japan, used to think Japan made the best ones. Yeah. Benjamin should have a QR code on the box. I'll bring you aside and show you the random serial numbers. And, I, and that's the thing, like, you know, some of the clones I saw, um, especially some of the limited edition ones, the numbers, you know, you'd get a, you'd see a number on a knife and you're like, oh, I'll check that number. Well, that number is like made on all the clones, like every single clone knife. Like you could buy two or three of them. They all have the same. So that's pretty crazy. Acid test kids, member of the crew. What is up? Yeah, wouldn't that be funny, Cheeto? If like can there was Canadian companies that like made a bunch of knives like this and then shipped them over to the U.S. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Seiki City knives, and they're excellent, right? Right. Yep. OG Flint and Bone. Sharp Guy ATX, Gold Class crew member, what's up? All right. So, G Ball Vision, what's happening? So, we have an awesome addition to today's giveaway. M Bomb for M Bomb Jerky has donated a bag of the DSKFS jerky, which is a fantastic flavor, I have to say but it's secret flavor. You can only gift it and receive it or be gifted it by somebody else. I mean, so that's in today's giveaway. Let's get a couple other things out for today's giveaway, but don't forget we got live streams coming up. we got the holiday coming up. May even see a live stream from me Tuesday, just random, just saying, keep an eye out for that. Make sure you got the notification bell on. Make sure you subscribe, like all the videos. I'm just kidding. Trying to be other people, not fun. But let's get a couple things. So we got the awesome thing from Embalm. We got a bag of that jerky, that DSKFS jerky, which is delicioso. But we got some cool YouTube stuff coming up today and tomorrow and the rest of the week. But Big Red put the link up there. Don't forget to check the knife tube schedule. Got a little extra time. Never know who's going to be going live. Yesterday it was full of lives. Today a bunch of lives too. But OCD for DC has a fun new story he's going to talk about tonight. And maybe we'll get the June order giveaway as well, maybe. We'll see if they got that rolling. Um, I only say that because I order from them, you know. I order Slick Em All like crazy. Uh, speaking of which, let's put some Slick Em All in the giveaway. <laughs> so we got a tube of Slick Em All. This stuff is the Knife Lord's Juice of the Gods. There's the giveaway rules right there. One guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. Ties go to the second round. U.S. addresses only. One account only, please. My screen and my moderators is final. And it's just about time because we're almost done with our iced tea. We're good. Kyla, what's happening? So many lives are coming up. Yes. And then Shane, hopefully he's got it figured out. I think last week there was a delay. But I think Edgy American will have his live stream also after OC for EDC, which is 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 Central. <coughs> Excuse me. Maxwell in the house, what's happening? We also have tomorrow morning, Everyday City Carry will be on. Also tomorrow, I think we're going to also see a Knives Fast again, hopefully, tomorrow afternoon, uh, if Casey hasn't changed it. And then also, of course, Metal Mondays with Pocket Metal. Fun times, fun people. It's, it's glad to just hang out and BS. Read, read your last two messages, bro. You're going to have to chillado on that. I don't know what we got here. Now I got to sidetrack. Hold on. Let me go find M Bomb's last 10 messages. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We got, we got some important info. I have 18 limited editions of Microtext and all labeled number one. You interested? Micro text? <laughs> oh, micro text. I got you. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, if Shane doesn't fall asleep, is that what happened last week? I, I couldn't stick around. It was like 20 minutes in. I'm like, what's going on? 
Uh, started doing lives on Fridays. BC Gerbs. Nice, nice. Okay. Well, Scott N does an awesome job putting everything together. So make sure you hit up Scott N um, and let him know when you're going. He'll add that to the schedule. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Pizza operator in the house. What is up, pizza operator? New member to the crew. Thank you, thank you. Um, what did we miss here? Stella was supposed to go live today. Okay, yeah. Stella, you guys, if you haven't checked out, show some love over to Stella. Um, Big Red might be able to put the link up for um, the fundraiser stuff that they're kind of doing. Levi's here. What's up, Levi and Kyla? How are you? Tom says, follow the rules or you'll be forced to be Cousin Tony from New Jersey. Test dummy for his upcoming cloner visit. Yeah. Uncle Tony be like, yo, you coming with me or what? <laughs> Bad accent, I know. Going to a concert in a few. Leave Thursday, get back at 1 a.m. Oh, nice, nice. Well, enjoy your concert. G-Ball goes live Saturday morning and on Mondays. That's the thing. Check that knife tube schedule. Get everybody on there. All right, Bama's going to check. Because Bama was doing a big fundraiser. Um, or not fundraiser, but getting funds raised for Stella. She had some medical issues that come up the last couple weeks. Some pretty serious ones. Um, so we're, we're trying to help her out with that. So... We'll get that posted up here. All right. Tori Casey's in the house. What's up, Tori? How are you? How are you? So let's go ahead and do something fun for today. We have this. We got a little gift pack. We want to give away a bunch of swag. We got uh, all sorts of swag in here. We got a little flight tag keychain from ProTech. Quality craftsmanship integrity. We got all sorts of swag from OCD for EDC. Of course, you get some Zach stuff swag. You get the DSKFS patch. You get the new OCD for EDC patch. And we're just going to start throwing swag out like crazy. So we got all sorts of cool stuff in here. And there'll be more added. Blue Creek, Knife Nerds, Big Red EDC, Blue Creek, Benchmade. What is up, guys? Another OCD. Love the American theme. Uh, edgy American. Journey Tool Company, of course. Oregon Truck and Auto Authority. Department of Adventure. Got the awesome Super Squatch Jeep on there as well. American flag in the background. So that's going to be in the giveaway. So we'll get that rolling. What else we got here? Top Dog, what's happening? Love anything ProTech? Yeah, yeah. ProTech's, ProTech's got some good stuff going. I like me some Protex. I like the Malibus. Got the operator going. That's pretty awesome. Um, let's see. What else were we gonna put in today's giveaway? Hmm. We got a little slick em all. We got some swag. Oh yeah, right. Let's put a knife in today's giveaway. How about that? How about we put a little knife in today's giveaway? And how about today? A little USA themed for the 4th of July. Oh, nice. Pizza operator. Yeah, right on. What is the knife? How about the Mesa Red Mini Bug Out? From the everyone who supports the channel by watching videos, donations, all that good stuff. We picked up this one as well. But I want to get this Mesa Red Mini Bug Out into somebody's awesome hand and if you win and you don't like this satin stonewash pocket clip this mini deep carry i have a black one we can put on there before it heads out to you so that's about the only thing i can switch out for you today but let's do that as today's giveaway pretty awesome stuff so thank you all it's uh you know your your all support helps me keep the channel going and keep buying stuff to put in the giveaways so we'll keep it rolling so thank you uh let's see here let's do that let's do that okay let me get a fresh piece of paper like dougie fresh there you go it might win your first one yep yep douglas pearson what up doug what up doug <laughs> Laura's like, I'm praying right now. I'm praying right now. Okay. So you saw the giveaway rules. One guess, one guess only. Close is about going over. Ties go to a second round. U.S. addresses only because it's sharp and pointy. 
In addition to that, one account only, please. Mike Jernak, thank you so much for that super chat donation. Says, thanks, Zach. Good luck, guys. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to put anything else on it and void the warranty. I agree, Tom, 100%. <laughs> okay. So let me get a number spread, and then we will get this party started in just a second here. We're going to have fun with this one. I'm, I'm, you know, frantically writing out the super duper. My, na my neighbor's like tearing things apart like crazy. It's funny. Uh, okay. They're like, they got like machinery and saws and like all sorts of stuff going. And like one of the last days before it gets into the 90s, we're going to be mid 90s for I think three days, something like that. So, okay. So here's the paper. We're going to put it underneath the blade of this Mesa Red mini bug out and when we see a start from our master moderator big red adc i will give you the number spread and good luck to everyone and thank you thank you for being here you know hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and your fourth of july holiday coming up for those of you here in the u.s <laughs> there's the start on the screen we have a number spread of 700 to 950, 700 to 950, 700 to 950 is the number spread. Yeah, I can show the Kershaw who's boss. Yeah, heck yeah. Thank you, Big Red, for posting the number spread up there. We'll keep it a little, hey, how were you on there? This is where we need that, you know, that intermission music, the uh, Lohavasino Bench Medio Mini Bug Out. <laughs> Got some hearts on the screen, some laughy faces. I love it. Um, yeah, so coming up, maybe actually, maybe that'll be a good one for. Um, oh, thanks, Gator. <laughs> Maybe that'll be a good live stream for Tuesday for the 4th of July. I'll do it early enough uh, in the morning. And we'll do a follow-up to the fun uh, bug out that got sent in. So it'll either be a fake or it'll be something else, obviously. But if we get, you know, maybe it's a donation for a giveaway. I don't know. But they sent it in a pretty sweet... Uh, little pouch so maybe not maybe it's not maybe it's it's for me to put on the channel i don't know we'll find out um not a mid time everyone out for the giveaways there you go there you go yeah if you're a moderator you'd be like timing everybody out like oh sorry you can't guess <laughs> what's your gut tell you zach it's it's authentic so i saw a couple things that look authentic um but I have to open it up to look at something else real quick. And so I'll do that on Tuesday. I'll, I'll get the story behind it, but we'll open it up. We'll take a peek at it. It needs to be cleaned anyway. So maybe we'll do a little wash and clean and put it back together with a little slick them all. What's up, Stacy Bolster Blades? Channel crew member and master moderator. Appreciate you being here. Heck yeah. Happy 4th of July. Coming up. And get your guess in, Stacy. One number between 700 and 950. We are, yeah, it should be fun. It should be fun. Some good background music could be 99 Tears by Question and the Mysterians. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Be like, we have to get some like, maybe some other versions of music on here. There's tons of stuff that's out there that's copyright free, but we'll get it going. We'll get it going. All right. So we'll give it another 15, 20 seconds, big red, and then uh, throw up some stop signs. It's got to be some run, D run DNC. Yeah, oh, I'm down. I'm down with that. My uh, Adidas. Do it, little beastie boys. 
There's the stop signs right there. Let's open it up. 99 problems, but a clone ain't one. Hit me. All right, so stop signs are up. We got 700 to 950. 748 was the number. 748. So let's go back and see. I saw quite a few 747s but I didn't see a 748 right on. So I'm going to look for a 748 really quick. And then we'll go back and look at like Greg and a couple others that got 747. So let's see here. 738. That was 10 off. Sobek's got 747 as well. Jay Jonah got 747. Oh man. We shall see. Okay, it might be a three-way round two. Okay, so I'm seeing maybe a three-way round two. Is that what I'm seeing? Embalm. Come on now. Yeah, so I'm seeing a three-way round two. Yeah, Nick, right? <laughs> yeah, so I saw... Uh, J. Jo I saw Greg, J. Jonna, and then Sobix. All had seven forty seven. So, oh, there was four people. I thought I saw. Okay, I'll double check really quick. So I'm seeing. It's like that no whammy. I need that no whammy music. Greg Maroney. I see Sobix and Jay Jonah. Jay Jonah. Yeah. Okay, so I see those three. BC, who's your fourth one? I see Greg, Jay Jonah, and Sobex. Who's the fourth one you're seeing? Yeah, I'm only seeing three. No whammies, no whammies. Big bucks. <laughs> All right, so Big Red Seas, Jay Jonah, Sobex, and Greg Maroney with 747. Yeah, three-way tie. Love the threesomes. Three sums, three psalms, however you want to say it. <laughs> right, Rob? Yeah, just a bit over. Just a bit outside. Okay, so we have these three, Greg Maroney, Jay Jonah, and Sobex Scooter going to a round two. Three-way tie. Now, this one for, is just for these three people, and this is going to be round two, and this is going to be closest. doesn't matter if you're over or under. It'll be just those. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. All right, so we're going to do a round two with those three people, and we're going to do... Closest without going over. Just kidding. Closest. Doesn't matter if you're over or under. Sorry about that. Still waiting on the bug out scales to put on the bug out I won from you. If we use it. Oh, nice. Well, hopefully they ship those scales soon. Dang it. Yeah, those scales will make it really nice, JR. Uh, you got to send me a picture when you get those on, too. I mean, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay. So round two for Greg Maroney. J. Jonah and Sobek Scooter, round two, closest, doesn't matter if you're over or under, whoever is the closest will win this giveaway right here, and the other two will win swag packs, so uh, the number range is 30 to 55, 30 to 55 for those three people. There you go. Thanks, Big Red, for putting that out there. I'm trying to put it on there without nicking myself. Cheeto Bandito, member for two months, three ways. Someone will feel left out. They're from Rogue, but I guess he had a problem, so they're delayed like five weeks now. Ooh, wow, five weeks. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Those delays are a bummer. All right, Sobex has 42. Jay Jonah has 47. And Greg has... Greg has 41. Okay. Round two is complete. 
Let's see who the winner is of this Mesa Red Mini Bug Out and Swag Pack with some slick them all from OCD for DC. We had round two with those three people. 30 to 50, the number was 37. So we had Sobix had 42, Greg had 41, and Jay Jonah had 47. So closest is going to be Greg. Congratulations, Greg, on your win. And the other two people also email me, but Greg email me also. Zach.edc at gmail.com. We'll get some swag packs out to Jay Jonah and Sobix. And then, of course, Greg will win this giveaway package here. So that's pretty awesome. So Tuesday, we're going to have a couple things. We're going to have – I have several letters that got sent in, I think with some stickers and some other stuff. So we'll open that up. We'll give some shout-outs. I don't know where they went, but we'll find that. Maybe it's stuck with the other mail in the other room, but I don't think so. Thanks, Big Red, for putting that up there. And, of course, we will have the follow-up for this bug out to see – is it fake? Is it real? Is it live? Is it Memorex? What is the status on this one? But we will definitely open it up and do a little cleanup as well um, if it's real. But either way, we're going to open it up, tear it apart, see what's inside. That'll be awesome. So pop Mr. Greg's cherry. <laughs> your neighbors can hear you yelling. That is so awesome, Greg. Congratulations on your first bench made. That is incredible. That's so awesome when people win. Um, thank you all to my channel members, to my master moderators for being here as well. Thank you all for joining in. Tune into the other giveaways that I have coming up. And I have a lot of content coming out over the next three days. So, But I want to hit up with that live stream on Tuesday morning. Don't forget to check out Knife Tube Schedule. Big Red posted that up. And I appreciate everyone for being here. I hope you're all doing well. Please, please remember... Hashtag DSKFS. Do something kind for someone. You know, make their day, make your day. Just do it out of the kindness of your heart. And most importantly, take care. Have a safe 4th of July. But we will see you on the 4th. And we'll see everyone else very soon on other live streams. Especially, I think OCD for EDC is the next one coming up. So I'll see you there. Take care, everybody. Thanks again to Big Red EDC for all the link and all the master moderating. And everyone who donated today. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Take care.